Hi, in this video I am going to explain the Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule of integration. Let's first understand what is an integration. Integration is a process of measuring the area under a curve. Here in this example, fx is the uh, my function and I need to find the area between the limits a to b then I will find the integration of the fx between a to b and dx will be the step size. Basically Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule is based upon the trapezoidal rule. Let's suppose I need to integrate the function f2x between the limits a to b then integration of a to b fx dx is equals to b minus a by 6 into the value of the function at the point a plus the value of the function at the point b which is the last point plus 4 times the value of the function at the midpoint that is a plus b by 2. Remember this is not the general formula it is only valid when I broke my interval into the two segments only. Let's suppose I need to divide the my total interval a to b into the n segments for Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule. Then the value of the h will be equal to p minus a by n. And then the final formula will be somewhat like this. If we solve this then we will get the final formula for Simpson's 1 by 3rd for n points. This is the general form for any given function fx for the Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule. So we need just to put the values here and we will get the answer. Let's try an example in MATLAB. This is a general equation of a rocket distance under the gravity. Let's try to find the solution in MATLAB. In order to save your time, I have already coded this function in MATLAB. You can simply download it from the given link in the comment section. Let's run it and see the results. So here is the answer. The approximate value and the exact value is equal because of the truncation. You can always increase the accuracy by increasing the number of the steps or segments in Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule. Uh, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please do subscribe.